Hey guys, it's Sarah. I'm back again. I wanted to make, um, I won't say a quick video because I don't know if it's going to be quick or not, but a video um, talking about something that's kind of been mentioned by a few people this week in different ways. Um, earlier in the week, uh, Miss Dana Juris, Dana, um, or I should say Ms. Ms. Dana Juris, um, who is one of the Back to Basics WLS uh, vloggers, um, did a really good video talking about how to support people in the community or how people want to be supported and the type of support that is maybe necessary sometimes but isn't popular. Um, so generally, I mean, this is an amazing community and it's very uplifting and, you know, you can be sure that if you're having a bad day or you've made bad decisions that there are going to be people who are going to tell you it's okay, don't beat yourself up, all that stuff, right? We want to positively support and uplift people who are struggling. But there are always times when you see someone who you know is sabotaging themselves, who is making very poor decisions. Sometimes it's because they just don't know. They might be uneducated. Sometimes it's because they just don't care. Sometimes they are in denial. They're lying to themselves, whatever it is. They, they have not even lying to themselves, but they've just justified it to themselves in a way that they think makes sense, but really is just sort of a trap. Um, what do you do? And I mean, I have literally been in this situation a number of times, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook, and I might read someone's post or even my fitness pal, looking at their food choices or doing whatever and biting my tongue and thinking, what do I do? You know, do I say something? Um, there have been times when I have, you know, and I've said, I hope that you understand this is from a place of love. This is my tough love. But you can't do this and expect to succeed or you need to really look at this and learn more about this before you do that or whatever it is. Um, from my point of view, it's difficult because even at six months out, I certainly don't consider myself a veteran. So sometimes I feel like it's not really my place unless it's someone who's sort of a newbie. Um, sometimes my concerns aren't necessarily about choices, but they're about the reasoning behind the choices or the mental process that's going on. And that's very hard to say to someone, you know, it's a bit easier to say you should stop eating this. It's more difficult to say, mm, you might want to talk to someone about that. So I've, I can understand where Dana was coming from in making that video because I've definitely been there before where you're unsure as to what that person would want you to say. I know that I'm a tough love kind of person and I expect people to keep me in line. I want them to keep me in line. I want you to tell me if... I'm doing something you think is insane. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm always going to heed everyone's advice, of course, but um, it's good to know, right? Not everyone is like that. Not everyone can take that. Um, and although I always try to be nice, um, I just, I don't know what to do in those situations. I, I really don't. And I never want to feel like someone, like I'm picking on someone or singling them out. Um, there have been times when I've wanted to make videos about a specific situation and I've decided not to because even if I don't name names, I mean, a lot of people would probably know what I was talking about or who I was referring to or the situation. <coughs> Sorry guys, I still have a cold. Um... So, I don't know, I would love to hear kind of, I guess, your point of view, either as a comment or as a video response. What kind of support do you want from the weight loss surgery community? What kind of support do you need? Um, are you willing to accept tough love or do you not want to hear that? Um, because I, I, I know I'm confused. I, I don't really know what to do sometimes and, and you know it's tough. Um, what I did decide to do, and I actually mentioned this on Dina's video, is um, I wanted to figure out how I could kind of address this without necessarily it being a one-on-one -on -one thing. And um, someone had posted, and I, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was that had commented, um, but they commented on the video and said it would be great if there was a way to um, address some of these issues in, in more of a group sense or have some repository for this information where someone could go and, you know, look up the, hey, are you eating too many Cheetos article and, you know, <laughs> and read it. Um, and it just made me think that maybe the answer for me personally is to make those, what I'm going to call tough love videos, um, 
but not have them be directed at someone specific, but just have them be about some of those things that come up or some things I observe. Um, sometimes you may figure it out. <laughs> it may be about someone or something that's gone on and you may know who it is. And all I ask is that we don't identify you know, anyone, um, as far as commenting and that sort of thing or discussing. Um, because I think it doesn't really matter who in the community is struggling with a particular issue. Everyone can probably relate in one way or another. So, um, I'm going to start a series. We're going to call it tough love Tuesdays. Um, it's not going to be every Tuesday. I don't know. You know, it's probably not even going to be a regular thing. It might be like once a month. It might just be when something comes up that I feel the need to talk about. Um, but, uh, Tough Love Tuesday is going to be a video, um, on a topic where sometimes tough love is required and I'm not going to pull back. I'm not going to hold back any punches. I'm going to tell you guys like it is as far as I see it. Of course, it's only going to be my opinion. So you got to take that with a grain of salt, a big grain, probably like a big salt lick. But, um, sometimes you do need to hear the straight up truth from someone and I'd like to think that that's how I've been trying to take this journey and so I'm going to continue to do that and I know that that means I might not be popular with everyone and I might lose some subscribers but if I can help somebody then it's worth it to me so if you guys have issues like that that you would like me to talk about if you would like some tough love um, then you can leave a comment if you want it to be more public or you can inbox me via YouTube or you can email me at lessofsarah at gmail.com or you can Facebook me, um, however you want to do that via social media and let me know what you want me to talk about. So, um, maybe you've started eating too many Cheetos. Maybe you are not getting in your protein and your water like you should. Maybe you've stopped taking vitamins. Whatever your dirty little secret is that you need tough love about, then, uh, I'll do my best. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And um, again, I would love to hear your comments or your video responses on what kind of support you feel you need and what you would like to see uh, in the community as far as supporting people. Should we be honest with each other in a polite way? Or, you know, should we just be trying to be positive all the time and, and not deal with some of the more controversial or negative things. So I know what my opinion is, but I'd like to hear yours. So uh, until next time, remember to appreciate every step in your journey. Love you guys. Bye.